G'day guys, welcome to Barbecue and Smokers by Bowview. Today, nice and easy one, we're going to do some lamb skewers over some charcoal. So, I'm going to be using the big metal skewers. I've got a kilo of lamb mince here. Make sure it's not too lean, we want a bit of fat in it. Okay. Again with lamb, fat means flavour, all those meats, you want some fat in there. That's going to help bind it as well. Now, I'm not putting anything in this other than a bit of mint and some rub. So I'm not putting an onion in. Stalks and all. Just a tiny bit of mint through this. Pinch it up. Just to give it a tiny bit of mint through. And about a tablespoon. And it smells fantastic. Okay, so today, now, today we're using greenwood rub. So this is the tree bark. All right. As you can see, there's a fair bit of herbs and spices through there. So that's gonna really accentuate So about three tablespoons. Let's mix it up. I mean, this is a nice, easy recipe. Your friends coming over for a barbecue, just jump on this. Yeah, it's a five minute prep, 20 minute cook, if that, and we're done, you're done. So what we're gonna serve with today is some Turkish bread. I'll grill that up on the Weber, and also some mint yogurt to go alongside and that's it. So nice and easy, nice and simple. So now obviously we want these skewers well coated. Now you don't want it too thick, but you know. So just a couple of centimeters all around the skewer. Just keep adding on. Give it a good squeeze, work that meat together if you're joining on like this. Just keep working down the skewer. Now I'm using the standard Weber. So you want to leave a bit for the skewer to sit on either side obviously. So we're sitting on the edges here. Obviously you don't want to put the meat all the way up to here otherwise you'll be, this way I can sit there on the edge and move it around a bit. Just simply because of the size. Wood skewers, you can coat the whole thing. So just keep working with the hands, give it a good squeeze. You want a nice, firm piece of meat, squeezing out all the air bubbles. You want a uniform size as well, so it's gonna cook evenly. Now, with lamb mince, make sure you cook it above 65 degrees. There can be some nasties in lamb mince um, if you don't cook it above 65 degrees. So just make sure you cook it above medium. So same with all lamb steaks, everything 65 and over, it's safe. Or if you freeze your meat before you use it, if you're making a lamb tartare, then it's fine as well. So just a little safety, safety tip there. But just give it a press down. Okay, let's get another one. Okay, now we're ready to cook. Come with me and we'll get these on the barbecue. So we're using the Weber today, direct heat, straight over charcoal. Now it's pretty hot today, sitting around 300 degrees. Okay. Now I'm not actually on the grill there. As you can see, they're just sitting on the edges. Straight over the charcoal. Oh. 
Okay guys, as you can see, we're getting some good char up now. Look at that. Sorry, hop in the way. As you can see, getting a really nice char. One smoke. Now, so it's been about, only about five minutes on that grill. Really blistering hot, we're sitting about 600 degrees Fahrenheit, 300 degrees Celsius, around those figures. Now, what I'm gonna do, let's move them off. Okay. So no, there's no direct heat now over these, so they're all just cooking with, the, you know, with all the radiant heat. So they're gonna keep going for about another 10 minutes and they'll be ready. Okay, so I'll just put the lid down. It's been another couple of minutes. I'll just put the lid over the top just to keep it a bit more radiant heat in there. So as you can see, it's still off the direct heat. Nothing's burning, but we're getting a nice even cook. Yeah, looking fantastic. So just keep them over the top. Wind up your lid. Look at that. So that way the heat's still transferring around in there. We'll give it a nice even cook. Okay, those, those skills are pretty much done now. Look at that, beautiful color. Oop, knocked it one off. In fact, I'm gonna take them off to rest. So I've got some bread here, I'm just gonna char up. That's some Turkish bread. Turkish bread. Well, let's put them over here actually. It's gonna be quick and easy. Straight down. Over the direct heat, these, uh, these bits of bread. All I want is some nice char marks. A little bit toasted. Okay. That toasted up nicely. Nice and quick. Okay, let's get this off. I'll show you how to plate up over here. Come with me. I've got my chagra bread, my lovely lamb skewers, nice bowl, and I've got some mint here. I've already taken off the stalks and some Greek yogurt. So let me just chuck these gloves on. Nice and easy. So we're just going to dice some. Dice it up, not, you know, not too fine really. So then all you want to do is press it with a knife, like this. So what it's doing is releasing all those oils in the mint. Okay, we'll throw that in the bowl. And this is Greek yogurt. Okay, let's put that to the side. So mix it up. Okay. Here we go. Right the finger. That's very nice. Let's crack the paper more in. My do a bit of salt. Nice and simple. Top bits of bread. So this should slide off. There we go. No residue. Okay. 
And there we have our lamb, lamb kebabs with minted yogurt and toasted Turkish bread. Thanks for that, and join us next time. From all of us at Smokers and Barbecues at Bowview, just let the guys tuck in. So how is it? It's good. I actually really like that. It's a good lunch snack, though. It's really good. Here we go. <laughs> Make a mess.